Hey guys, well I'm on my way to Mount Ruapehu. Gonna do some um, climbs, gonna try and hit up to Crater Lake. And uh, all going well, um, hit up there in my shorts, which uh, should be quite a nice uh, achievement along the Wim Hof line. So we'll see how it all comes together. She's pouring with rain now on the way. Weather forecast looks like it might be settling down on Tuesday or tomorrow and, and Wednesday. So all going well, we'll get up there, but uh, just happy to take it as it comes. So. I'll keep you informed. Well, I'm here on day one. Um, still pretty overcast, so not sure if I'll get up to the top today, but a good day just to sort of check out the conditions, um, fully kitted, and just, yeah, see what happens. We've had some quite out of it discoveries today. I've been out in the snow for maybe three and a half hours, and it's you're certainly sub-zero and, and when the wind gets you it's you know pretty pretty cold but i don't know what to tell you but my hands i haven't worn gloves all day and in the past or well, last time i was here last year you know with gloves you, your hands are sort of the first things to go and i'm sure everyone knows what it's like where you can't move them you know to try and fiddle with the buckle they've just got no functionality anymore but it's crazy because it's like there's heat pouring out of my hands and as I say you know like I've been climbing so my hand my left hands on the ice a lot of the time my right hands holding on to a, um, a frozen ice axe yet when I put them on you know my body normally if you've got really cold hands you put them on your body and you're like well my f hands are freezing but they're not I've got full functionality um, there's no discomfort whatsoever so you know it's it's crazy i can only share my own experience you know um it just seems like you know it, once, once you start tapping um some of this this higher order functioning of the body it becomes easier and it seems to creep out and be easier activated so um, i'll keep you updated anyway well it's a whole a whole new world of cold up here now i'm just sort of up on Knowles ridge scoping it out for tomorrow um, it's almost a whiteout, uh, probably gale force winds, she's pretty fucking cold, her face is sort of numbed up a bit, but anyway tomorrow might be the day, certainly couldn't do shit today, you can't see you have a pretty face, but tomorrow we'll see how it all comes together. Well looks like today's the day. She's a bluebird, looks amazing. Check it out. So all going well, we're gonna to go to the top today. Here we go, yeah! Well, it's a beautiful day today. Today's the day to do it. I've just hiked up um, alongside the Knoll Ridge Tea Bar. It's about blowing about um, 50 k's an hour which is pretty strong I've just grabbed some shelter to take a couple of photos um, but she's pretty amazing I'll show you where, I've, where I am and where I'm going if I can flip this camera around is that how would do that oh not sure if I can this it. Uh, okay <laughs> amateur hour okay I'll show you this way and that's where I'm going see that so she's pretty amazing so I'm going to head up that valley there if you can see it straight up that valley to the summit so I'm um, checking a bit later um, well so far so good I've opted to stay close for now because it's the first time I've been up and I've got a map and have done a fair bit of research but until you walk it with your own feet you really don't know where you're going so I'm just going to hear on the side of caution since as as I'm the only one up this mountain the views are spectacular I'm in a valley at the moment so the wind's not so bad uh, temperature's not an issue um, it's good as gold really but I'll, um, I'll show you the view yeah very um uh, very humbling to be up here in the grandeur of nature, I can tell you that. See you at the top. Well, I made it. Pretty amazing. 
nice and view. This is just beyond belief. Well, I did it. So I'm pretty stoked with myself, really. Like, um, I think I underestimated how tough it would be. And when I was climbing up um, the first part, probably the first three quarters of the climb, my um, footsteps were the only ones on the mountain there was no one else around and um, I was sort of a little bit nervous actually going up by myself because I kind of did feel like maybe it was bordering on foolishness but I did believe I could do it so but when when I was going up there though sometimes when you're up on these mountains mistakes are pretty final you know like you just don't you just wouldn't stop sliding till god knows where you know like it's it can be pretty scary stuff and so the higher I was sort of getting up sometimes you can almost borderline um, come into a degree of panic it's like panic kind of knocks on the door um, and so you've got to kind of try and process that and so when I was up there it's kind of like you get to that point of sort of you, you, you pass the point of um, return almost and You've got to just kind of keep on going and, and I'd studied the maps and I'd done a bit of research but as I was going up um, you know it was it was just so different to the maps when, when you're actually treading it with your own foot um, footsteps and to be honest I, I, I sort of got a bit lost I thought it would be a little bit simpler than what it was and um, you know through the um, through the, the grace of intervention I got to one rise and I saw coming from another direction a party of climbers and so for the final push to the summit I was able to um, follow them up and if it wasn't for them I, there's no way I would have found the, the dome summit because there were some quite technical um, little zigzaggy climbs up these rocks and you know that some you know perilous walks across ridgelines um, I'll flick some photos up like you know you just do not want to make a mistake like every footstep you're just you're just riding it you know like you cannot just be wandering off thinking about what's for dinner um, and you know there, there's lots of people out there that do much more hardcore stuff than this but you know you know as far as climbing, climbing mountains you know I'm, I'm, I'm relative amateur so it's always kind of the fear factor is proportionate to your skill level so some of the stuff stuff I, I still found pretty um, hair raising but anyway um, I'd originally come here thinking about going up um, in my shorts I think in some ways that was just you know it, it wasn't what it was about especially not having been up the mountain before these climbers were already looking at me like I was an idiot climbing up by myself and to be honest maybe I was you know I'd made people aware of where I was going, an exact route, what I was carrying, when I was to be back. But, you know, the thing is, is you know, you, you make a wrong move and, man, you know, you just, you just wouldn't be found. So would I recommend somebody else to climb up by themselves if they hadn't been up before? The rational part of me would say absolutely not. But I believed I could do it, and if someone else believed they could do it, then who am I to, to, to go against what, what they believe, um, you know, from their inner wisdom? So, you know, do what feels right to you. Um, so coming back to wearing shorts like on a day like today it was never going to be about that because to be honest the biggest issue is sweating more than it is um, whether you know anyone could take take their clothes off whether they do the Wim Hof method or not and it's just pointless on a sunny day because it's so hot but the thing is is I had to gauge myself like here I am like this is pretty serious stuff 
do I really want to add to that that I'm the guy walking up in shorts and if I need help you know people are like oh man is this guy just asking for trouble or not so I, I ultimately deemed that I'd rather be the guy um, you know dressed appropriately if I needed help that that would be um, um, you know forthcoming so anyway it's, it's been an awesome couple of days to kind of again just kind of find a little bit more of your own self to, to learn more about yourself to kind of conquer your own um, fears to push past them and um, to climb a big ass mountain Hoo -ha. well I'm just heading back now actually to pick up my boys and Nicole and we're going to head back to the mountain and give them um, the opportunity to do a little bit of uh, soul searching and finding that inner power I think when I think about um, the trip down there what it really is all about is um, is getting in touch with yourself and maybe understanding a little bit more about the fears that you have and and seeing fear as a great teacher and something that when you kind of surrender to it you can kind of get underneath it and um, and underneath it lies a greater inner wisdom that that can kind of rise up and start showing you an inner intelligence and inner wisdom um, that does lie within you and I remember last year when I first went to the mountain and really I don't know how I got there I, I just started wanting to do some survival um, training and bits and pieces of something different and I ended up on this week-long course and I'd never done anything on the snow I didn't even know what crampons were and we get up on the mountain and, and the first day I've ever put on a climbing ha harness we we're like climbing right up the top of the pinnacles and I was just terrified and it was just myself and this young woman who had a lot more experience than I did and our um, guide, our, t our, our instructor. And we were right up in these pinnacles and, um, you know, we were rope climbing, but sometimes, you know, you wouldn't have ropes just depending on the difficulty. But because I hadn't even got used to how to walk in crampons, um, you know, I didn't have any confidence. I hadn't learned to trust them. And so everything I found was really, really terrifying. And they were just, often times they were just straight drops down into an abyss of guaranteed death. Not only death, you just never find the body. You're like, we're right at the top of the mountain. I'll maybe throw some photos across so you can see. And, um, and one, one of these parts was just that, that yeah, if you did fall, it was game over. And I said, oh, to my instructor, look, I'm happy to climb it, but you know, I, I wanna, you know, at least have a, um, a fail safe rope in case I fall. And anyway, the difficulty was probably, you know, marginal, but I didn't wanna take the risk given my skill level. And this young woman I was with, you know, she was much more comfortable of, of just, you know, free climbing it across. And I just thought to myself, man, you know, like, you know, just to kind of roll your ankle or lose your footing and that's game over. And we were coming back down the, um, the mountain literally about 20 minutes later and uh, we decided to do uh, this little ice climb and I was just, um, I was just, you know, harnessing up and about to start the climb and the instructor was at the top, he had, um, you know, anchored up and I just hear this horrific scream I mean like the most deathly scream and I turn around and this woman is sliding down the mountain. Luckily we'd made most of our descent and she didn't fall far but she had dislocated her knee and bang she had just gone, um, fallen down and so literally 20 minutes earlier that would have been her you know toast and she ended up having to be um, you know, you know, stretch it off the mountain, um, you know, by the um, medical um, ski rescue patrol. And so after that day, I was just like, whoa, you know, what have I got myself into? All I wanted to do was um, get in my car and go home. Like, I was like, whoa, I'd sort of lost confidence um, in the instructor. And, you know, part of me just wanted to get out of it. But then I was thinking, well, you know, why am I here? You know, why have I been led to this point? What am I to learn? And I sort of thought, well, maybe, you know, firstly, I felt 
the gold within this experience was not just because someone was deemed an authority um, was not was not to let them dictate what was right or not right for me but to trust my inner wisdom and um, and you know and if I felt no I want a rope on this part of the climb was to in, in, insist and ensure that I had a rope not just because someone said no you'll be right to accept that so that was one thing and then the second lesson I felt was well maybe I'm meant to just kind of take a look at that fear of death and kind of work with that a little bit so you know I decided to stay there and each morning you know I'd wake up and I'd do my breathing and you know I'd get in that icy cold shower at the um, um, at the base and I'd get my mind set and then you know I'd go out that day and would, would do it again and um, here I was you know I'd never thought I'd have any kind of inclination to the snow but you know I've gone um, you know back to the mountain and you know you've been able to work with that fear and I still get it when I was up that mountain I still get it because it's a bit like you know even even on the less technical parts it's a bit like if you walked across a plank of wood that was 20 or 30 centimeters wide and it was sitting on the ground well you could do that backwards with your eyes blindfolded but if I put it 20 stories in the air or 100 stories in the air between two buildings and said now walk across it you know everything changes so sometimes when you're up on these mountains what I find is you know some of it's still quite difficult but even the easy stuff when there's sheer falls and whatnot your mind is just circulating and so it's quite a good environment to have to try and work through those states of fear or when panic comes you have to be able to kind of surrender and allow yourself to kind of feel that but then not react not panic not let it get a hold of you just sort of let yourself you know s slip underneath that and normally it dissipates and you know that that inner strength the inner wisdom and something else comes up and so that's what it's really been about for me is is trying to find new means and new avenues to tap into that inner power and to um um, to dance with it, to get to know it, to build a relationship with it so you can live and move and have your being in that state and ever more um, time and ever more opportunities as you just go through life. So that's my summary anyway guys, peace to you all.